Thank you. Thank you. Take care. We think that by showing this sign of good faith, we will prove to Atlanta that we're not just in the streets just for the sake of being in the streets. We're not demonstrating just for the sake of demonstrating. We are out here for a purpose. And by showing a sign of good faith, we think it's, a, it's an incumbent up now upon the city government and the police department officials to go ahead and drop those ridiculous charges against Reverend Williams. This is the city's last chance. If they do not, we're going to have another massive demonstration here Tuesday. We'll be marching from Martin Luther King Jr.'s grave site. We're going to be marching Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, on, on, and on. to go ahead and show a sign of good faith just as we are. <laughs> All right, now you see, here's one I'm going to take right now. Yours I'm going to look at and add. You ought to go get it. Uh, lay uh, 16 pages, total 34 when we come out. It has a very stiff criminal penalty in it for those that do not file, and I think it would be a very hazardous thing for one of these candidates to try and hide his finances in this campaign from the people. I'm real proud of the bill as it has passed, and I'm going to see that it's enforced as governor of this state, and I'd want everyone to comply with this law, which the Supreme Court of Georgia has upheld.